Now, Robin, uh, we have some very exciting uh, uh, people coming into our studio. Mm-hmm. We've assembled a panel for the Mike Walker game that is unbelievable. A frightening panel. A frightening panel. In fact, they're out there in the hall yelling at each other. Yeah, but guys, not everybody's out to hurt. I'm really not out to hurt you guys. He's just a, you're just being passive about it right now. No, guys. That's, 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 that's not true. That's, that's not true. true. I'm friends with black people. I, I'm nice to them all the time. That's, that's, a, that's a, not true. That's a racist right there. How is that, how is that racist? Because I don't really mean to hurt you. Why would you say that? If it's something natural, it's not something that needs you to be You guys are saying that we're allowed to free. That's not true. That's just not. Well, I think Steve's point was just that he, he feels that Hitler had a lot to do with today's society. Well, Hitler's burnt. He was burnt, and he was found. H- Hitler, right, he's Hitler was all about finger point. You know, you guys are just finger, more finger point. Yeah, more I mean, finger point. So why are people going through the oppression they're going through today? Is it because of nice white people like you? Is it because of the finger? Is it because of the finger? Just because there's a few bad white people doesn't mean all bad. Well, these few bad white people happen that control this world. Happen to have. No, a lot of things bad. The whole slavery thing was crap. Right. So that's why the righteous men. That's why the righteous men have to take over this so-called leadership with the white man. But it's not every white man, you know. Just because, just because there are bad. They are good white people. Yeah, they are good white people. We have the black Israelites here. We have two of them. We have Amwan and Harag. Oh boy. We have Elephant Boy. You know what? I Did you say the name's backwards? And we, have, <laughs> and we have Steve who wants to talk about Hitler. We have, and these are replacement Israelites because Zabar, Dazar and Zagabar were the originals and they couldn't make it, so these I guys do. are in their place. All right, so here is Amawan, Harag, Elephant Boy, Harag. and Steve. Harag? Harag. 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 Amawan. This is Amawan, Harag, Elephant Boy, and Steve. All to play the Mike Walker game and to let their views out over the air. Hi, guys. Steve is the guy who believes in the Hitler theory? Steve believes in Hitler. But uh, you don't believe in Hitler? Anti-Hitler. You're anti-Hitler. Yes. All right, well, let's find out what this is all about. Uh, let me say to our black friends, Salam Aleichem, if that is uh, That's appropriate. Not, well, I guess it is, yeah. Although you guys are Jewish, right? No, we're not Jewish. Black Israelites are not Jewish? No, we're Jews. You're Jews. Well, let me say, Manish Tanavu Halala Hazet. We don't speak that German, um, Slavic Hebrew. I understand. The, right. um, the modern um, Hebrew. We speak the ancient Hebrew. Before we get to the game and stuff and we play the game, I would love to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, I always see you guys out on the street. You're always uh, preaching. Would, you, would that be appropriate to say preaching? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you always seem so angry at the white man. Are you, in fact, angry at the white man? We're angry at this world. You are angry at the world. Well, hey, I'd like to join that club. <laughs> I hate they this goddamn world. I second that. <laughs> yeah, I am really angry at the world. You like think the, you're angry <laughs> at the world. You have no idea how angry I am. Um, what are you angry about exactly? Do you guys want to make a statement? The wickedness that's being done in the world. Yep. Homosexuality, fornication, adultery, thievery, murder. All these things will be put to an end by Christ and his angels. You guys married? Wow. Yes, we are. You are? Yeah. You never cheat on your wife? It depends on what you mean by cheating. Uh, oral sex? Oh, dear. Wow. We're not here to answer those questions. We're here really? to answer... No, I said I know you're against adultery. Right. True. Adultery. The scripture doesn't speak about oral sex being adultery. If you can Thank you. It, if you can come out the Bible... I got news for you. If you got room for a white man in your religion, man, I would join. <laughs> we were not, we're, not, we're not a part of a religion. Really? We're part of a nation. Really? And we, we didn't come here to play any game either. Well, if you could, just join in on the game. Just say it's a simple game. We're not, part of, we're not, being, we're not here to be a part of a game. You we're refuse to play? Game. We here to teach the truth. That's what we was taught. You guys that's, refused that's to play the was, game. That's what we was um, told. We came up here to um, give a message to the people. Our people spread throughout North Central and South America of Negro and Indian descent. Can I ask you guys a question though? Will you, will you play the game anyway though? If the game involves teaching our people, we'll play. Well, if that's, that's what you want. Oh, it involves that. Okay. I, I, I mean, think it all comes down to humanism. Hey, right. shut up over there. I didn't oh, call on you. Shit. I'm talking to these two brothers over here. Oh, sorry, What's the matter with you? Jeez. Wait your turn. Seriously, you'll get a chance. That guy's whack. How do you become? And where do you find this organization? How do you become a Black Israelite? I see him on TV all the um, time. You don't become a black Israelite. Israelite is something that's given to uh, as a birthright. Yeah. We are the children of Israel by birthright. We are the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know that movie they show on TV with Charleston Heston? Yeah. Um, delivering the children of Israel out of Egypt? Well, if you would adjust your eyes, those people were supposed to be black people. All so right? you're not, not saying be white. the Jews that are uh, running around all white and everything, those are not real Jews? According to the scriptures in Ezekiel 7, verse 21, Revelation 2, verse 9, and 3, verse 9, those are imposters. They you know, took our nationality. Well, you According guys know your Israel. verses, man. So those guys, I, those guys are kind of cheap. Are you guys cheap, too? Or uh, you just like... Like, you know, different kind of Jews. Well, that has nothing to do with the, the fact here. The fact is, yeah. they're not Jews according to the Bible, and they're not Jews according to your own history. You can look that up in Encyclopedia. It was set up by the United League of Nations. You guys don't even seem like you're having fun, though, man. I mean, you really do seem very serious. We, we, we are very serious yeah. because this is a very serious issue. I know. You guys, you so guys. I, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want you to put us on a level with these anybody else who thinks this is a joke. No, I'm not saying it's a joke. I know you guys. I've seen you on the street, man. I would have messed with you. Are you guys circumcised like uh, the uh, American Jews? According to the law. 
You are. According to the law, um, the children of Israel are supposed to be circumcised. That's the, if that's the question that you're asking. So you guys are against gay people, too? Yes. Christ yeah. is against wow. gay people. Any gay guy try to join your group, forget about it. There's no, such, there's no such thing as joining a group. It's not a group. A chi- you can't become a Chinese man if you wake up the next morning. So to be in your group, you've got to be black you and you've got to be Jewish. The Negroes um, spread throughout North Central and South America of Negroid and Indian ancestry are the true Jews that the Bible speaks of and history. Right. That's what this is. This is, not a, this is not a club. It's not a country club. It's not a clique. It's not a gang. Okay. So what, what, well, then how did you come to this knowledge? Because uh, you, this wasn't what you learned growing up, right? Um, when you go into the Bible, you find out in the Bible um, a, a particular verse that speaks to the children of Israel and told them that they was going to go to a certain, they was going to go through a certain atrocity. This um, thing only happened to the children of Israel. Now I'm gonna read it for you in Deuteronomy t- chapter 28. Holy mackerel! Verse, Is that long? No, it's a right. very short verse. Right, straight to the point in verse um, 68. Right. What are you like? Are you like a rabbi or something? Not at all. No, I'm a servant of Christ. Really? How many guys you got in this uh, organization? As the sands of the sea. Really? Read. This is Deuteronomy 28, chapter 60, verse. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. When you go into the scriptures and you go into history, you find out that Egypt, the children of Israel, have only been, been into Egypt one time. So when it says, he shall bring us into Egypt again, this Egypt is a Greek word that means bondage. So he said he's going to bring us into bondage again with what? With ships. What nation on this planet has been put on bondage with ships, Howard Stern? Uh, America. America. Uh, United States of America. Has been put on bondage with ships. Uh, oh, man, I knew I'd be flunking this already. Uh, wait, ask the question again. What nation on this planet has been put on bondage with ships? Uh, put in, in other words, sl- um, You know the answer to this, Robin? Robin I think Robin they're talking know. about slaves. All right, so that's... Africa? Like, right. Yes. So oh, okay. We're going to go to Deuteronomy. How am I doing? Well, well, bad I'm, sure, I'm, sure, doing bad. I'm sure you knew the answer. You were just trying to be wise. <laughs> no, I was not. <laughs> I really didn't know the answer. De- Deuteronomy 1, verse yeah. 1. Mm. These that. be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Now Moses is speaking to the children of Israel and told them if they followed the words of the Mosai, no evil will come upon them. But if they didn't follow the words of the Mosai, they was going to be brought into Egypt, meaning bondage with ships. And that only happened to the Negroes that was spread throughout North Central and South America. That's why we're claiming descendancy from the Jews in the Bible. How do you guys make money and stuff, though? You got held regular jobs or you just do religion full time? This is not religion. Like we told well, you, you know before. what I mean? Whatever. I mean, you know, we a whole thing. We work like anybody else works. Yeah. Man, you guys are serious. You scared the hell out of me. I gotta be honest. Do you ever have fun? Yeah. You guys ever yeah, relax? You guys watch TV? You ever watch like Friends this is or fun anything? Right now. Really? Teaching the word. You guys ever watch WB or anything like that, or Friends or uh, Vibe? Anything? And mellow out, listen to rap music, or are you completely against that too? Anything that's gonna upgrade my mind to the wickedness that's going on in society. That's one of the reasons why I would listen to your show. You would? I would listen to it. Oh, you would listen. To I've it. had listened to it. On you the like here, it? We've listened to it, so we can hear the atrocities and all the things that's going on in the world. Such as the la- last you. guy you had over there. Um, yeah. I believe his name is Daniel. Yeah, Daniel, Daniel Carver. Carver. Okay, yeah, he, he's that's an insult. Man. He is that's an insult. Well, uh, absolutely, I but agree. you promote it though. No, I don't. I okay. think I point out racism. I believe he works for you. So do you no, know? he don't work for no. us. No, 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 okay, no way. Yeah, we don't condone that. What mm-hmm. else do you listen to to discover this evilness that's? Around the world, yeah. we don't have to listen to anything. It's evident in our faces. You right. see the atrocities that the white man's putting on, doing onto this planet. He's killing the, the the birds, the animals, and the seas, and the air, polluting the ozone layer, everything. All right, this, this white race is responsible for everything that's happening on this earth. That's why the scripture tells you, when the righteous rule, the people rejoice; but when the wicked rule, the people mourn. This this world is in a state of mourning right now because of the rulers that is ruling this world. I don't. Know. Yeah, it might be right. I don't know. Who the hell knows, man? Although I don't know, all people, uh, well, what are you, uh, black guys do, to do stuff with too. White people? Look at that guy in Uganda. Uh, what was his name? Idi Amin. Idi Amin. He was eating his own people. White people, black people, everybody's doing all that crap. That's, that's a very incorrect statement. We're really? talking about the people who's ruling this world. We're not uh, talking about the individuals. What I'm saying, whenever anyone gets in power, they always screw up. You're that's right. it. That's why the righteous well, nation. That's why the righteous nation, like the scripture tells you, which keep it the truth, shall govern this world. All right, yeah, we're yeah. gonna be under another. We're gonna be under another rulership. When is this gonna in a happen? Of years. <laughs> Excuse me? When is it going to happen? Very soon. Hey, let me move along the panel just for a second because this is a game uh, in a sense. You know what I mean? Uh, Elephant Boy, you want to promote something? Uh, yeah. Right. Um, I'll go to be in Fort Myers Beach, Florida, uh, March 6th at Tensitaria, Fort Myers Beach. Really? Fort Myers Beach. Is, is he nervous? Yeah, he is. Ner- I think you guys are scaring uh, Elephant no. Boy. He, he talks. He has a speech impediment, but i got to tell you something. I've never heard him this bad. <laughs> are you nervous for, for these two guys? Uh, no. Really? Hopefully nothing will happen. Right. You, you want to tell these guys uh, that you have fornicated with a man? Uh, no. Because <laughs> okay, they'll tell you. They'll save you. I swear to God. Can you guys help a guy who... Uh, uh, can you tell him why it's wrong? I also fornicate with women. So no, you have fornicated with, with women, but you well, slip. Fornication is wrong, right? Yeah. Fornication <laughs> is not wrong. <laughs> what? Fornication is wrong? Yes, oh. fornication you, is a sin. You brothers aren't saying fornication is a oh, sin, no. are you? I believe you know that already. You just want to. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. No, I'm not, no, I'm not trying to incite anything. I'm saying fornication is good as long as you do it with your wife. No, right? fornication you can't do with your wife. What? You what? Are you guys kidding me? 
Is that what you guys believe? Fornication is bad? Now, fornication according to the scriptures and Proverbs 122, it says, how long will you simple ones will you love simplicity? All right? That's, what the, that's why America is going to be brought down, because of the simplicity that you're pushing. You're pushing that. You're asking me a question where you know is wrong. You know fornication is wrong. You know adultery is wrong. Christ speaks against these things. Fornication with your wife, though, is all right. There's no such thing as fornication with your wife. There isn't? The you're, you're in a marital relationship or you're fornicating. Uh, well, having sex with your wife is good, though, right? It's all good. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm asking questions. <laughs> Nobody wants to answer. <laughs> Nobody wants to answer. Let me uh, take a couple of phone calls, see maybe if some people are getting into this. Uh, Dan, you're on the air. Yeah, listen, uh, you know, this, this uh, black guy who's talking all about the scriptures and stuff, all he can do is seem to quote scriptures. But let me tell you this, uh, all mankind is responsible for what's happening. All people on this planet are responsible for what's happening. Not the white man, not the Chinese man, not the Jew, not the this, not the that. No, I agree Everybody. with you. That's right, not me. Everybody is responsible. Who's, responsible. who's responsible for going out of space and putting holes in the ozone layer and causing all kinds of weather patterns to go through? The white man. The, the, right, who, the white you, man, how do you justify the white, that? How do you justify me? that? Who's, who's, who's the head of NASA? NASA? Who's the head of NASA? Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Do white you man. Who, who has the weapons of mass destruction? The white man. Who has the weapons of mass destruction? Is it, is it black people? Why don't you let me talk? Because you're not speaking truth. I'm, Everything I'm you're saying is damn. The truth, saying the truth is opinion. this. You I might have been converted. Let me, see, you're let saying me, your own let opinion. Me tell you let me show you something. While, you're, while we're talking no, on the radio, you, you, have, issues in, you, you have issues in the White House right now where they're discussing a, um, a campaign. You're a very of, angry of, of Saddam individual. Saddam right. You're Saddam a very Hussein. angry individual, and you're blaming. You're talking with Saddam Hussein about weapons of mass destruction. While we're busy talking, it's supposed somebody gets angry and presses a button. Listen to me. Then it's all over. All right, so this is the problem. I only want to make one point. This is the point. All the people on this planet are responsible for what's happening. Okay? Can you prove that? Don't you, you try that? to blame the white person. Can you prove that? How do I prove Can it? Can you prove that black people are responsible for killing the animals and dumping t tons of oils in the water and polluting the air, pollution and all that? Can you prove that? Are you guys down with Farrakhan? No, let him answer that question. Not hell with him. He's gone. Hey, oh. hey are you guys uh, down with Farrakhan or Not anything? at all. No, You're not even with that group? Not at all. No, no, no. I see. You're a whole different We're group. We're down with Christ. Real? Oh, you cry? I thought you guys were Jews. We are Jews. Yeah. But you're into Christ. Jews are supposed to believe in Christ. The Jews rejected Christ back in the days. That's why we're suffering the way we're suffering right now. Let me get this guy Steve in here. All right, Steve, what do you want to say? What, now, what have you been saying about Hitler? Hitler was a white. <laughs> Hitler was what? He was a white. He was white. That's right. That's what you came here to say? You've been hanging around our station for two days. What do you want to say? Uh, I got tons of stuff. Okay. Yeah. What do you got? I have some true folks. Well, well, just tell us in a, no, in a no, synopsis. No, just tell us what your deal is with yeah. Hitler's head or yeah. brain. What, what do you, I mean, I know you've been trying to get to me, so tell me what it is. I just think he's like behind a bunch of stuff that's still going on today. Hitler, you say Hitler's still alive? Because Pe people are looking at the name and not the deeds, yeah. like his writings and stuff, and people are picking it up and like doing stuff from him. And I think he sent out this like secret army at the end to like go ahead and like run drugs in the country and blame it on the government. Like, you know. <laughs> and you just think this all on your own? Yeah. I, You're well, not part of a group or anything. No, no. Right. I think that people are always looking at the history books, and Hitler never would have put anything in the history books, or would have just wrote misinformation and stuff. And everybody's like, "What's he talking about, Robin?" <laughs> he just sits at home thinking about Hitler, <laughs> and he's decided that Hitler's still running things. And are you Jewish? <laughs> no, I, I'm not. What Jewish, are you? But I, I got a lot of stuff here, like scenarios, like that come up that just don't work out, like in the future. I just give us one. Um, like the purpose of a uh, hold on. Human beings can be commit errors, or human beings can be subject to brainwashing. I, I, this actually is close to what these guys are saying, because really? machines cannot properly figure out. Like if it's if it's going through these like decision lists, it's not yeah. really thinking. It's it's not rationalizing. Like it, it's not going to be able to figure out which targets which. All right, if, all right, I'm done with you. With viruses, all right, let's see. Can we play the game for a second, then we'll come back to everybody. Mike Walker, let me let me explain this to you. I think you like this. If you guys don't seem to have too much fun, seriously, I'm talking about the black Israelite guys. We will have fun when this world is being run righteously. Hmm. What are you thinking, that uh, uh, the black Israelites will eventually run the world? Like it says in Daniel 7, 18, it says the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and shall possess the kingdom. Did you go to public school or uh, you seem like a pretty intelligent guy? Where, did you go to college or something? We went through all the f um, facilities that the white man told us. Yeah, we we to go we've been brainwashed. We've been Third. brainwashed very well to believe that Jesus Christ was a white man, to believe that the Jews were white and to believe the apostles were white. We read in the Bible. Jesus Christ is not white? No, he's not in Revelation. You're kidding me. Okay, let's go to Revelation. Oh, wait a second, man. I got to I gotta, I gotta, I gotta challenge that one, no, this, man. This oh, is man. Everybody. This is for all the listeners who's listening in Revelation 1 verse 14 is speaking about Jesus Christ. It says his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as the flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, Howard? Uh, I would say like a, a olive. Brass is a, a, a derivative of brown. brown. You brown. cannot have brass if you don't have brown. That's true. All right. And it yeah. says his feet are like unto fine brass, as if they burned in the furnace. Now, if you burn brass in the furnace, what Black. color do get? So if his, color, if his feet were dark skin. What color is the rest of his body? He's not Dark. a two-tone person. So Christ is a black man, according wow. to the scriptures. Wow. Then his 10 verse 5 and 6 tells you how his arms and his feet was like in color of polished brass. Holy mackerel. So therefore, this earth is going to hear and they're going to see a black man. That's very hard for me to accept. Very hard for me to the accept. The reason why is because your forefathers in, has, have inherited lies. Exactly. 
Well, whatever. Robin, obviously a lot of revelations have come about the black Israelites claiming that Jesus Christ himself was black. The scripture said that. Yeah, that's what you said. Is this going to rock your world? Is, is it rocking my world? Yes. Your... Yes, it is. Wow. Steve the Hitler guy, I don't know what you're talking about. No offense. Mm. I, I, An elephant boy, I never knew what you were talking <laughs> about. No, Howard, I, yeah. let me make one point. Um, if uh, the white man is so bad, nothing is...